Welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. Today we are going to be taking a look at this aluminum USB 3.0 SATA hard drive dock from Orico. This is model 6818US3 and you can buy this off Amazon for $29.99. Now they also sell a cheaper alternative to this. It's a black plastic version. The only difference between this version and the black version is the fact that the black one is entirely composed of plastic. And you can get that version for $19.99 off Amazon. Um, the internals are going to be exactly the same. So you're going to expect to see the exact same performance between the two models. And if you want to check out either of these docks, uh, I don't have the black one, obviously, but if you want to check out the aluminum or the black one, I will put both the links to them down in the description. So this product is going to allow you to dock any 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or solid state drive directly to your laptop or desktop via a USB 3.0 connection. And yes, it does support the USB attached SCSI protocol. Um, so I do expect to see some pretty decent speeds from this thing. Included with the unit is a three foot USB 3.0 cable along with a DC power supply Supply with cable length of approximately four feet. Now, to be honest, I did find the cable length of the DC power supply to be a bit short. A lot of my power strips are very far away from my laptop and desktop, and this made hooking up the uh, drive dock very hard because I had to go and find an extension cord um, and drag it over, plug it in, uh, and it was just kind of a big pain. So keep in mind the cable length of the DC power su supply is just a bit short, and if your power source uh, is far away, you might have to break out an extension cord. On the back of the unit, you're gonna find your USB 3.0 port along with your DC power jack and power button. Installing a drive is very easy. Uh, if you have a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drive, all you're gonna do is slide it in, make sure it's firmly fitted with the SATA uh, data and SATA power interface. And then assuming that you already have it plugged into your laptop and of course plugged into the wall as well, you're just going to hit the power button and it should, after a couple seconds of spinning up, if you're using a traditional hard drive, um, be recognized as an external storage device. Now this is advertised to work with Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. I tested this with Ubuntu Mate 16.04 and it worked just fine. So that's a thumbs up for Linux. And I tested it with Windows 10. Uh, it works just fine with Windows 10 as well. I can attest to whether it works with Mac OS or not. It is advertised to work with Mac OS, but Unfortunately, I don't have anything with macOS installed laying around here in the studio. Transfer speeds fall in line with many of the upper tier drive enclosures I have tested in the past. I'm using an Adata SP550 120 gigabyte 2.5 inch solid state drive for testing, along with my ThinkPad T430 with a quad core i7, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and Windows 10 installed. As you can see, we are getting approximately 420 megabytes per second read speeds and approximately 350 megabytes per second write speeds. You can also see our random read and write speeds up here as well. As you can see, just for some extra validation, I used two benchmarks. I used crystal disk mark and I used AS SSD benchmark and you can see the results from those right in front of you. Now the sequential read and write speeds are coming in very close to what the sequential read and write speeds of this drive should be when hooked directly up to SATA 3. This is a very, very speedy drive dock and chances are a lot of the drives that you actually use with this thing aren't going to be able to saturate the interface of the drive dock. And that's going to be about it for this review. Overall, this is a great way to dock any 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drive directly to your laptop or desktop. Now, this is a product I actually used for quite a bit because my desktop was out of commission for some time because I just tore my setup apart. Uh, I ordered this 4K monitor and it arrived with a bunch of the pixels dead and I already set everything up. So I had to tear the setup apart and send it back. And I was like, I just don't feel like using that. Um, so I grabbed this 640 gigabyte Western Digital Black Drive out of my desktop. This has all of my archived footage on it along with the intros and outros for each video series. And I grabbed this out of my closet. I'm like, well, it's a review sample, but it wouldn't hurt just to open it and actually test it out. Uh, I put the drive in there. I hooked it up to my laptop and it just worked. I mean, this thing came in uh, and was a lifesaver. So definitely a product that I do approve of. Uh, really enjoyed using this. Uh, this came in handy. Now I do have one issue with the white version. 
And that's the fact that when you um, uh, insert and remove 3.5 inch drives, it actually scratches up the cover a little bit, especially since the bottom of this drive is black. As you can see, it's actually leaving some black lines on this door. You can see uh, where the drive rubbed up against the door. Um, and that is a bit annoying. So I personally would go with the black version just so I don't have to see that. But you do have to keep in mind that the black version is plastic and this one is going to be built just a tad bit better because we have uh, that aluminum external. Uh, and it does look nice, but do keep in mind uh, that if you have a 3.5 inch drive, it might leave some scratches on the top. So once again, that's gonna be about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and put a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you wanna support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links, both of which will be down in the description. And finally, also if you want to support me, you can check out my Patreon. That link will be down in the description as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.